let's look into some of the examples uh, 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 that can be categorized as uh, nominal uh, data. So most uh, nominal data is sorted into categories where each response fits only into one category. Some examples of uh, nominal data are the first example and widely used which state do you live in and followed by a drop down list of names of states uh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra etc etc so then which among the following do you usually choose for a pizza toppings <laughs> that is another one <laughs> onion, tomatoes, spinach pepperoni, olives, sausage, extra cheese, extra cheese and uh, which is the most loved breed of dog? Another question uh, that makes a nominal data. Doberman 1, Dalmatian 2, Labrador 3, German Shepherd 4 and uh, hair color again a nominal data black brown gray blondie and preferred mode of public uh, transport bus tram train and employment status employed unemployed retired and literally uh, january uh, literary january comedy tragedy drama epic satire and uh, marital status there are three okay and then sexual orientation there are hell number of if it is europe uh, they will give 10 to 12 i have never heard i have never seen i don't even know that much will exist that's okay but that many uh, nominal uh, variables that many categories uh, uh, they provide for sexual orientation in india maximum you will find two or three whereas in europe you will see hell number of uh, categories that comes under now a nominal data for the sexual orientation that's okay now let's get into our data and see how these things uh, uh, work out so now it is uh, three nominal data so which uh, let me get to the hands-on I'm going to take a uh, soccer player. Let me go to the players again. You see that? Do you find any categorical a nominal variable here? You got a second name, a first name. These are obviously kind of unique. Of course, it's not, but still. Then you have gender and then you have height, weight. We have seen this as a continuous variable. Then what we have here is, uh, so players, it's country, country or team, country or team. And execute it and this is what is our data, okay. So total of one five eight seven rows so these are the unique so these are the unique uh, categories that we can find from nominal uh, data so so that's what uh, we got these are the unique uh, such as Algeria Italy Egypt United Arab Emirates Spain Portugal Colombia Ethiopia Jordan etc etc so this is what uh, this is one nominal variable that we can see here 
and let's look into the another example so what's that we have used uh, stores let me check the stores data so stores you have store okay let me get into the another let me check unit sales e-commerce data ecom is equals to pd dot read csv ecom and here you got is mobile and and products viewed visit duration you know what is this obviously continuous variable then is returning visitor time of day user action okay uh, here we can't find anything so let me get into the another mm, so customer buying pattern units is equals to pd dot read csv yep so here also oh we can see all our continuous variables maximum you see your price continuous variable add expenses continuous promotional expenses continuous and then unit sales obviously this is a discrete you see that a discrete and then month again a discrete here in this case you can have one two three third fourth 15 months so discrete so three two discretes and remaining three continuous variables so based on the type of variable or type of data the level of measurement uh, also uh, depends so based on the type of uh, uh, type of data so the level of measurements that we can do is also varies so that will be looking into uh, those uh, level of measurements in later section of uh, this course but for now you should understand and uh, you should be able to figure out uh, what is a continuous variable what is uh, uh, discrete and what is nominal variable so this is what uh, in this data okay one more uh, we have here that is uh, uh, customers buying pattern so customer buying pattern cbp is equals to pd dot read csv and then forward slash cbp okay so here at least okay this is a, a channeled you have a regions a channel and then regions are also numbered but here fresh and milk and uh, these are all quantity uh, this is your discrete milk I think these are milk packets so this is discrete grocery again I got a packet frozen food in cages discrete and pepper obviously discrete delicatessen and region here let me check what is region here so CBP okay you got three one two so these regions uh, uh, basically there are normally if these regions would be uh, identified for example north region is one then south region is two then west is three so that's how uh, these regions are uh, represented as a numeric as numerals but these numerals doesn't have any numeric value these are just categories to represent in a uh, just to represent in your data set so this is also your uh, this is also your nominal variable similar to channel 1 and channel 2 this also represented as a numeric value but that, that doesn't have a numeric value 
it represented as a numeral but it doesn't have a numeric value so that's how your uh, uh, nominal variables looks like so just to sum up so some <coughs> sorry some of the nominal variables are example what state do you live in and uh, uh, which among the following do you usually choose the pizza toppings onion tomato spinach then which is the most loved breed of dog and hair color black brown gray blondie and uh, uh, literary genre or employment status that you are employed or unemployed or retired so these are the these are all this data is known as nominal data